In this video, I will show you how to set up the TP-Link WR850N router as an extender. This is my main router. And this is my TP-Link WR850N router, which I will use as an extender. If your router is brand new, plug the adapter into the router and connect it to the phone. If the router has been used before, you will need to reset it. After resetting the router, connect it to your phone. All the information about the router's PIN code, Wi-Fi SSID is here. Now enter the Wi-Fi password from the router information. Now open the Chrome browser. Search now at tplinkwifi.net. Now create an admin panel password. Go to advanced settings. Click on operation mode. Now select the range extender. Click save. The router is now rebooting. After rebooting, you will need to connect to the TP-Link Wi-Fi network if necessary. Enter your admin panel password. Now click on wireless. Click on connect network. Click on scan. Many Wi-Fi devices are visible. Select which Wi-Fi signal is the strongest and connect. Many routers have the option to change the name of the extender router. But there is no option to change the name of the extender router. This means that both routers will run under the same Wi-Fi name. Now enter the password of the main router. Click save. Now reconnect to your Wi-Fi network. Here you can see that the TP-Link router is not showing the device. I said earlier that the two routers will run under the same name. Now enter the password of the main router. Now the TP-Link router is working as an extender. If you turn off the main router, the extender router device will be visible but the internet will not work. The main router usually covers 80 to 120 square meters of open space. The extender router adds about 60 to 100 square meters of additional space. So if placed correctly, it can cover 140 to 200 square meters of space at once.